You know when girls walk around thinking they're so hot, it's just like, I am so glad you were able to overcome the patriarchal institutionalized brainwash that makes women hate themselves from a young age in order to capitalize on their insecurities and keep them submissive. You are f***ing hot. Huh. There is no system in place that makes women hate themselves, and there are no laws that force women to put makeup on their faces. So, if there are women out there who hate themselves, maybe it's because they really hate themselves and can't live up to the image they have of themselves. To the men who watched my last video and took the time to comment letting me know that men have insecurities too, totally, and I'm so glad you're so passionate about men's rights and I hope you'll make a video about that and I'm more than glad to support you. However, that video was for the girls. I never said men don't have insecurities. I never said anything about men at all. And you can still have insecurities and still have more privilege than a woman purely based on gender. Just because something doesn't affect you, aka the patriarchy, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This woman is really full of herself. If you need someone to make a video about something for you to start caring, just shows that you never cared, and that you will never care. What privilege that men have that women don't have. You can see my nipples through my top, and that offends you. I'm so sorry, I forget that men are the only ones who are allowed nipples. I totally forgot. Men and children aren't meant to know that women have nipples too. So silly of me. You want me to go change? Okay, totally. <laughs> Counter offer. You change your policies. Hum, for your information, we can't see yours. How about you go put on some clothes that will serve as a visual reference to the point you are trying to make? This is what the patriarchy looks like. Men? Women. Now, a lot of men seem to think that when women try to build ourselves up and say we want more rights, they think that instead of doing this, we're doing this. They seem to think we're taking rights away from men so that they're going to be down at our level. When in fact, what we're trying to do is gain rights so we're up at your level. You see how you stay here? You don't lose anything by women gaining things. Other people's success is not your failure. Yeah, you are right. Other people's success is not my failure because I am not involved in whatever it is that they are doing. But women's success, more often than not, come at the cost of men labor. There is absolutely nothing that women have that was not created, built, or given to them by men. Alright, let us move up. By you yelling at us for wanting to be the same as you really shows your oppressive nature and the fact that you don't think we deserve everything that you have. So, do you want to keep it to yourself? You aren't losing anything by us gaining something. So shut up. 1. If you need someone to let you move up, it just shows that you don't deserve to be up. You have to work your way up and not ask men to let you move up. 2. You are the one who is on social media yelling at men to let you move up. 3. You don't deserve what men have, because men work for what they have. Nobody let men have what they have. 4. When women are giving things that men have to work for, then yes men are losing something. And last but not least, how about you stop using so much chemicals on your hair? Looks like your brain is suffering. Things that don't make f***ing sense thanks to the patriarchy. When ladies do not shave their armpits or their legs and occasionally their upper lip, the male species will say, Ugh, gross. That's disgusting. Meanwhile, in penis town, we can have literal pubic hair on our face and it's seen as cool, sexy, hip. Trendy. Men, check your watches. Most of us are not on Pacific Standard Time. No, we're on f***ing double standard time. But then again, maybe this makes sense. Perhaps the reason some men are so prone to act like dick is because the same hair that's down there is also up here. Okay, I don't know what is going on with you, sir. But the pubic region on a human body is located slightly above the hips. The fact that you have pubic hair on your face just shows that you are a freak. Good morning. I've had my coffee and I'm reading my feminist literature. 
Well, it's time for a little rant. Stop staring at my nipples, Chad. Did you know there was a study done that just asked women what they would do if men didn't exist for 24 hours? For 24 hours, only women would exist on the planet. You would think that the responses would be something crazy or bonkers. Like own a zoo. I'd fly a rocket across the sky. Set fire to the house of that one toxic ex. But alas, these were none of the top answers. The most common answer for what women would do if men didn't exist was go for a walk at night alone. The following answers were wear whatever I wanted, followed by sleeping outside under the stars. What the actual? Is safety and peace of mind too much to ask for? No! Men, check your goddamn privilege. Have a splendid day! Wow. This dude woke up and chose stupidity. But again, what more can one expect from a being who has pubic hairs on their face? And for the record, if men disappeared for 24 hours, the entire world economy will collapse, then 90% of all the cities in the world will go dark, power grids will shut down. Most natural gas reactors will become unstable, and let's not forget nuclear reactors. Basically, if men disappeared for 24 hours, everything will stop for 24 hours. The only things that will not stop are the Earth performing its daily spin routine, and how stupid feminists become. People often ask me, what right do women not have that men do? They point to the law and they say, look, women are equal under the law. Which is great! I'm so glad the law supports women. The problem is, culture does not. We're still trying to restrict what women do with their bodies, i.e. abortions. The media still sets an unrealistic expectation of what a woman should look like. Well, I think you are the best example of why the media should start setting examples of what a man should look like. And women suffer eating disorders, and some turn to self-harm, because they can't attain what the media says they should be. Also, we still shame women for having sex in the year 2020! So, you want society to stop shaming women for being whores? Okay, I hear you. Do you really think doing so will help you get laid? So why do I talk about feminism on TikTok? Because TikTok is a cultural tool. We can both agree on the point that TikTok is a cultural tool. A cultural tool designed to reduce people's IQ. And I'm tired of women being treated this way. I want to change culture, not law. Culture. Wow. Now we can all see why he wants society to stop shaming women for doing the nasty. Hi, so this video goes out to all the boys and the men on TikTok who always wondered why girls go to the bathroom together. Um, I have a few answers for you. Sometimes to help each other redo our makeup. Sometimes it's to catch up and talk away from the rest of the group. And sometimes, often even, it's for safety reasons. Yeah, safety. Because sometimes going to a dark bathroom in the back of a bar isn't exactly safe or having to walk half a mile to get to the bathroom not exactly safe okay. why why in the name of sanity what are you doing in a place that you know isn't safe stay at home if you know that the places you are going aren't safe what are you doing there in the first place so if for you the idea of going to the bathroom even if it's like a bathroom behind a gas station at night in a sketchy area is something that just doesn't seem dangerous and it blows your mind that it is for some people, you're privileged and probably a cisgender man. What are you doing out at night in a sketchy area? You are done at work, go home. What are you doing out in such places? Are you selling ass? This woman just shows that feminism is about power but not bearing the responsibility that comes with that power. He wants to make everybody else responsible for her safety but herself. And this is the mindset that most women have. They want to be wherever and whenever they want, and expect to be safe. Hey, idiot. The first person responsible for your safety is yourself. Okay, so a few days ago, I posted this tweet, basically listing off things that aren't funny to be joking about. And while this list wasn't all inclusive, there was only so many characters I can include in one tweet. And then this person replied, the fact that you didn't mention toxic femininity is just seeking female validation. Now, I'm not going to go on a rant about that term because that's not the point of this video. So let's continue. So there are a lot of other replies in that conversation, but this one's important. In case you weren't aware, this is a post about oppressed groups. Men aren't oppressed, women are. Then that person said, tell that to the people who invalidate males who have been raped because they should have enjoyed it. Tell that to the men who are afraid to speak up about the fears for being told to man up just because your problems are worse doesn't mean you can invalidate theirs. 
Now, both of those are examples of toxic masculinity, and I was certain that I had included that in my original tweet. So I went back and checked. Yep, right there. And this is just proof that all you want me to do is blame women instead of blaming the system that men created. Typical of a woman. Yeah, you just pointed out something that I am guilty of, but you know what? That's not the point of my rant, so I'm not going to talk about it. We as women need to check ourselves to deprogram the misogyny and patriarchy from our own brains. Even the most woke woman needs to do this. Have you ever seen your ex-boyfriend get a new girlfriend and the first thing you think is, is she prettier than me? No, that's not the patriarchy. That's just your conscience trying to rationalize the fact that you got dumped. And since women judge other women and themselves by the way they look, so a woman asking herself if her ex-boyfriend new girlfriend is prettier than her has nothing to do with patriarchal programming. It is just a woman being a woman. Society has taught women that being beautiful is our most powerful asset. And having a boyfriend in order to get married is the most important thing we can do. And to value the attention of men. So instead of seeing that new girlfriend as a multifaceted, dynamic woman, we are literally out here competing for below average guys who are addicted to nicotine and porn. This type of social conditioning is seen in movies, particularly Cinderella. Homegirl wasn't made until some man came and rescued her by marrying her. Can you imagine if Cinderella was a boy? If he was sitting in a dark, cold, dusty cellar waiting for somebody to come and set him free? That movie would be a f***ing joke. But it's normalized if it's a girl. And you are addicted to the attention that comes from those men. And for Cinderella, it was made to make sense to women, not to men. And yes, if it was targeted to men, it will be a joke. Let me tell you why. 1. Men have to work to change their status in society, but a woman can change her status with the stroke of a magic wand. I know that when it comes to the modern woman, multiple strokes from different magic wands can be needed, but at least you get my point. 2. When a man loses his shoe after a party and have to drive back home in a giant pumpkin, it means that he is drunk. So, yeah, Cinderella will not make sense if it was a man. All right, guys, let's talk about the term female. Now, female is a word that can be used to describe somebody of the female sex. Now, that isn't just humans. That is also animals. So when you say females always be tripping over blank, it could mean anything. You could mean an animal. You could mean a woman, but there's already a word for that, women. You could mean a girl, but there's already a word for that, girls. So back to the point that I was trying to make about females, meaning any animal. Um, when you call a woman a female, you are stripping her of her humanity. Because in our vocabulary, we call human females women. There's a word for that. Huh. If the one using the word is a human, can't we just directly assume that they are referring to human females? When bitches use the term male privilege, are they stripping human males of their humanity? It reminds me a whole lot of when people called women, bitches, a term for a female dog. And we all understand why we shouldn't do that. Right? Nope. I disagree. At this point, this term is well suited for people like you and anyone who shares the same belief as you. 